hello everyone so today in this video we are going to discuss about few important multiple choice questions regarding the topic your insect head that is specifically towards clearites and suture because in a separate video we already have discussed what is stagmosis what is the segmentation of head and what are the orientation of head so these things we are not going to understand here we will only discuss what are the different sclerites and sutures of a particular insect head coming to the first question here you can see head capsule is formed by the union of number of cuticular plates okay so this cuticular plates okay are known as what that is the question that means head capsule is formed by different kind of plates okay and which is making a whole head so this cuticular plate is known as what that is your question so you see options are sclerite suture cranial wall and epicranium so what will be the answer definitely your option a that is your answer sclerite will be your answer okay next coming to the second question sclerites are joined together by cuticular line or ridges are known as what what is the meaning suppose you say this is one sclerite and this is one another sclerite okay these two are joined by means of a particular ridge line so this line is known as what that is the question so what will be the answer you see sclerite suture cranial wall epicranium so your option b suture is your right answer next you see days provide mechanical support to the cranial wall which one anyway this option is wrong epicranium no yes or no again suture will be your right answer suture will provide your mechanical support to your cranial wall okay next days is regarded as the upper lip of the mouth part which one labrum clypeus front labium which one we already we know that is your labrum is acting as your what upper lip labium is acting as lower lip mandibular acting as first pair of jaw yes or no huh? first pair of jaw and your maxilla will be acting as your second pair of jaw yes or no huh? so this is what your labrum is the upper lip of the mouth part then, facial part of an insect consisting of median ocellus what is a facial part where a median ocelli is there yes or no huh? median ocelli is there and here com uh, antenna here compound eye will be there what is this one this one is your fronts yes or no huh? fronts will be your right answer then days is situated above labrum labrum is here above that what is there one more scl small sclerite is there yes or no that is your option d clypeus clypeus will be your right answer coming to the next question top portion of the head behind the front or the area between the two compound eyes is known as what that means you see suppose uh, this is the compound eye okay and this is the front this region okay this region is known as what this region is known as what your vortex okay so option will be b will be your right answer vortex will be the right one see this next question upper part of the head extending from vortex to occipital suture that means suppose you see this is the lateral side okay and suppose this is the vortex okay this from this to your occipital suture this area is known as what okay so what is the answer you see epicranium will be your right answer next inverted u shaped structure representing the area between the epicranium and post occiput again same figure yes or no huh? suppose this is the epicranium and this is the you see what is that this structure huh? this is known as occiput this is known as post occiput so the answer will be your option a that is your occiput why it is inverted u shape because if you see from this side then what will happen it will look like this okay that's why it is written as inverted u extreme posterior part of the insect head that remains before the neck region you see extremely posterior part of the insect head that remains before the neck region again same figure you see yes or no epicranium occiput then post occiput then your thorax will start yes or no huh? so that will be answer will be your post 
occiput then area extending below the compound eyes to just above mandible okay that means what is the thing you see you see two type of things are there one is you see suppose this is like this huh? compound eye is there okay and uh, frown is there then clypeus then labrum okay then mandible this is the frontal view but if you view like this compound eyes is there this is the frown this is the mandible this portion is known as what that is your question so the answer will be your option c that is your jenna <laughs>
So answer will be your tentorium. So I hmm? hope so i hope you understood all of the things uh, which are the things which are the multiple choice question we have discussed and it may be helpful for you so uh, i want to request those who are uh, watching the videos please suggest something uh, on which basis or or on which topic i can make the video so it can be helpful for you that will be always uh, encouraged so thank you all thank you for watching this video have a nice day